Hey guys, Marissa at KitchenTableStamper.com. Today I'm playing Marissa's Monster Mashup. We had a game on the Craft Social last Thursday where I challenged you to take two tutorials from the blog KitchenTableStamper.com and combine them to make a new project. So I took a couple of inspirations here. There's a snail mail, um, a snail dit, post-it note cover, a sticky note cover, a Halloween sticky note cover and a Halloween fun fold card that I mashed up to make my new project, which is this cute little, hey, crazy cat, Halloween treat. It's a three by three sticky note and I found these really great pens at the Dollar Tree. All right, so my sticky notes are from Amazon. I buy these all the time and I've bought lots of them. So I'm uh, happy with the price and quality. You know, 36 pads, 100 sheet pads, which are nice thick ones. And um, you get four colors in this. So I'm going to do a yellow one from that. And then my pens are from the Dollar Tree. These are from their current Halloween selection. I'm going to grab one of these little pens out of there. I think I'm going to go with this design this time. And let's get started mashing up a couple of different projects from the blog. I'll link them below the video if you're curious uh, to make this fun new Hey Crazy Cat sticky note cover. Our cover piece is basic black and it's seven and three eighths by three and a quarter. Let's score it. You can make three of these covers from one sheet of cardstock, which is really nice for all your trick or treaters. We're going to score on the seven and three eighths inch side at three and one eight three and a half and three and seven eighths. Let's get a bone folder and work those scores. We're gonna work all three scores and then we're gonna trim to make a little loop for our pen. So let's start with this. So this shorter little panel right here is the front. This is the back, so front, back, you notice we've got a mountain fold here, right? Now we're going to go ahead and push that out the other way for just a minute. And we're going to cut a loop for our pen. And I noticed with these pens that the barrel is very thin and the cap is a little bit wider. So that keeps your pen in place better if your loop touches the cap. So you want to put this up higher than center. So maybe an inch from the top and then cut till you hit the intersecting score line. And then maybe three quarters of an inch to an inch for your pen loop. Eh, maybe three quarters of an inch. Stop at that intersecting score line. Now you're going to go back to how you were before and put that mountain fold back in there. Let's use some tear and tape adhesive to put our little notepad together. So we're going to put tear and tape on the first segment from the back cover here and we're going to start at that little slit that we made for the pen loop and go down to the bottom and then from the other side we're going to do the same thing start at that little slit we made for the pen loop go up to the top let me expose the adhesive here we've got that and we're going to fold on that very first score line from the back cover and burnish and then we're gonna push out in that pen loop Fold it up. So there's our little cover, our pen loop. Let's get our sticky notes inside. Make sure that they open from the top. I'm going to put a couple of lines of tear and tape and just pop them right into the cover. Let's expose the adhesive. All right, on the top side up. So check that for placement. We're going to push it right up against the left side there, right up against that fold, and then get an equal border top right and bottom. We can burnish those notes in, close our cover, and add our little pen. So cute! All right, let's do some stamping. Let me slide these guys to the side for just a minute. I'm bringing in my Stamparatus because I want my cat and my hat to be double um, stamped for the strongest black that we can get. My cat and hat come from the Clever Cats stamp set. And I've got one on each side of the plate of my Stamparatus. I'm going to drop some white cardstock into my Stamparatus and use my magnets to hold it down. 
got Memento Tuxedo Black ink. I'm gonna ink my hat and stamp. And then I'm going to lift carefully. And I'm gonna ink again and stamp. That's gonna give us a really nice strong black hat. Now I'm gonna lift my plate and flip. And then I'm gonna ink my cat. And stamp. And then I'm gonna carefully lift. I don't wanna move the paper. The magnets will help with that and going slow will also help. I'm gonna ink my cat again. And see, so there's some areas by the tail and this um, front leg here that are not super black. So that's why the second coat, you can add another layer of black ink to get a really super jet black cat and hat. All right, now let's take our paper out. When you're taking your paper out of your stamparatus, you always want to move your magnets away from each other and then you can slide that to the side. I'm going to grab some more ink here and my stamp and pierce mat and we're going to stamp the pieces for the broom. All right, I've got soft suede and bumblebee. I'm going to just ink up the bristles of my broom with bumblebee and then I'm going to stamp them. And I'm going to use my simple chamois and wipe the bumblebee ink off the stamp. Now I'm going to stamp the entire broom with soft suede. Cute. Let me clear away the ink pads. Well, you know, I've got a greeting to stamp, so let's do that also really quickly. I've already cut the tag for our little Hey Crazy Cat greeting. Isn't that cute? And that tag is from the Frightful Dies. The Frightful Tags Dies are an awesome set of Halloween icons and tags that can be bundled with the Frightfully Cute bundle. You can save 10% on both items. All right, so I've got Hey Crazy Cat and they want my tag to tie off to the left. We need Memento Tuxedo Black ink. And look at that a little stamp. All the way to the right so that our ribbon doesn't cover any of the greeting. Ah, so cute. I love that Hey Crazy Cat greeting. Let me clear away the ink pads and the stamp and Pierce map. Unfortunately, Clever Cats does not have a coordinating die set. It makes me sad, but we can still cut these out with paper snips. So that's what we're going to do next. Let's give these a little cut. I'm going to cut my two-piece broom a little bit different. So let me show you that one on the video, and then I'll cut out the cat and the hat and get back to you. So when I cut out my broom, because we've got this two-piece multicolor broom we want the handle brown and the uh, bristles to be kind of the straw bumblebee color i'm going to cut out the details of the straw end of the broom leaving a little white border all the way around and then at the top here we're going to have to make our details a little bit So we're gonna follow these little sprigs and cut them. But at the handle here, we're gonna make our own little third sprig of straw and then cut around. So there's the details for our broom. Now, nobody wants to cut that out more times than they have to. I love to cut and I don't wanna cut that out more times than I have to. So we're going to start here with our soft suede broom and we're gonna cut off all those details. The only thing we need to pay attention to is the handle on this one. So we're going to cut the handle with a little white border all the way around. There we go. And then we're going to cut off the details at the bottom. All we need is a glue tab. All right, so there's our broom pieces. I'm going to cut the cat and the hat, and I'll meet you right back here. All right, all of our fussy cutting is done. Let me grab a 
stamp and write marker this is pumpkin pie and i'm going to fill in the little buckle on my hat we call that a halloween princess hat <laughs> and let's look at some die cutting that i did ahead of time all right so we've got a few things here already cut using layering circles and hippo and friends we have the largest swoopy square cut from pumpkin pie. This is using our Hippo and Friends die set. And then from the cute Halloween 6x6 designer series paper, we've cut the largest circle. This is about 2 and 7 eighths, smooth circle. And we've cut from a scrap most of the largest 2 and 7 eighths inch from Bumblebee. Now we're going to take this 2 and 7 eighths inch circle and our Stampin' Cotton Emboss Machine, and we're gonna turn this circle into that crescent moon. How we're gonna do that is we're gonna pop that circle back on the platform of our Stampin' Cotton Emboss Machine. We're gonna grab the two and seven eighths inch circle die, lay it right over our circle to make this crescent moon shape. We'll pop the top right on, and cut this circle a second time. So as you can see, you can make these little moons out of your scraps. It doesn't have to be a perfect circle, the first cut. And there is our crescent moon. Let's put some texture on it to give it more realistic finish. I've got my Stampin' Pierce map and Bumblebee ink. And I've got this awesome little spatter from the Color and Contour stamp set. We're going to use that spatter to give our moon a little bit of texture, like a cratery texture. Let's get some small grid paper here to protect our stamp and pierce mat. We'll just go over this a couple of times with that spatter. And now we've got a very cool cratery moon i love that such a simple little detail time to start putting this together so here's our sample and our pieces let's get some glue and glue these three layers together i'm going to use multi-purpose liquid glue i'm going to start with the back of my crescent moon and i'm going to glue that to our boo paper And then we can glue the boo paper to the pumpkin pie swoopy square. Now let's that let's pop that to the cover of our notepad. And we're gonna use these awesome black Stampin' Dimensionals. They come in a combo pack where you get small and regular, the minis and the regular size. I'm just going to add a few to the back, pop it up. You want to be careful of here is that the edge of your swoopy square, these points right here, line up on or before this crease for the pen loop. You don't want to fold that every time you open your notepad. So it'll be just a little bit off center. But now when we open it, this doesn't crease every time. Pretty cool, huh? All right. Let's get our broom assembly here. Again, this black Stampin' Dimensional combo pack. We're gonna add one onto the glue tab on the soft suede broom, and then line up our, our little bristles. Now we can get our cat, add some adhesive to the back, line up the cat on the broom. And then a little bit of glue on the glue tab for our broom. We can add that. We want to leave some room for the bow, so right of center. I need a little bit of adhesive underneath this end of the handle of my broom. Here we go. So cute, I can't even stand it. Let's pop up the hat. I'm going to put a dimensional on the back of the hat. Pop that on Kitty's head. <laughs> so cute. Now we need our crazy hat tag. 
and some embellishments. Got my black and white gingham ribbon here. Let's thread through from the front to the back and tie a little bow. Trim that away from the spool and clean up the tail. Now let's adhere with a little bit of Stampin' Dimensionals. I've got the very edges of my last mini sheet. I use every bit and so should you. Dimensionals are sticky. Let's add our tag with our bow. Hey, crazy cat. I love it. Now, of course, what's a project without a little bit of bling? And these cute stars are going to do just the trick. I've got my take your pick tool and we're going to add a couple stars, maybe a big one and a small one. And another big one. And then maybe another big one and small one. I'm going with five. really press these guys down. I've found that they need a little extra attention. Push them down so they don't fall off. All right, there it is. There's our adorable little, hey, crazy cat, sticky note holder. If you've got any questions about the project, you can email marissa at kitchentablestamper.com. The shop Stampin' Up! 24-7 buzz over to marissaalvarez.stampinup.net. The links to the projects that I mashed up for Marissa's mashup monster mashup edition are below the video and if you've got any questions about our craft social and the games we play every week reach out the link to the craft social is also below the video too i'll see you in the next video or maybe in the kitchen table stamper craft social thanks for watching bye guys